everyone, she is the creator behind the very popular blog, What's Gobby Cooking? And that just so happens to be the same name of her latest cookbook. Today she is making us whole roasted branzino with shaved fennel slaw. Welcome back, Gobby Dalkin, to our home. Thank you. Thank you. Also joining us at the counter is a fitness guru and bachelorette winner, Sean Booth. I know you will approve of this. You will yes. certainly very approve healthy. of this. I like this. what I yes, see. Yes, you will. All right, so today we're tackling cooking a whole branzino in the oven. Yes. Now this could be really intimidating to people. I would. But you say it's easy. Well, like here's the thing. When I was a private chef, my clients were like, let's have whole roasted fish for dinner. And I hadn't gotten to the fish course in culinary school uh, yet. And I was like, <laughs> terrified. I was like, fake it till you make it, just keep going. And it's actually mm -hmm. really easy with a little help from your fishmonger. It's all easy. Okay, all right. Yeah. So we, we're gonna also serve this with a delicious fennel salad. Yeah, like a fennel slaw is gonna go on top and then we're okay. gonna stuff it with some fennel as well. All right, let's get, you let's get, get started. It? Okay, so you're gonna make the seasoning for the fennel salad. Okay. So we just need garlic and shallots. What if we don't have fennel? What can we um, substitute? If you don't have fennel, you could use any other kind of herb. You could use red onions, you could use white onions. This is a little bit of olive oil. A little bit of vinegar. That was champagne vinegar. Okay. And we're gonna put some mint in there as well. Ooh, yummy. Yes. Already, that's nice. Okay, so, so I just whisk that in. together. Yes, here's a whisk. That, thank you very much. It's, it's gonna, very good, Gabby. And that you could put on like any other kind of salad yeah, as well. On anything. Yeah, go ahead and dump it in here. I'll I season it with a little salt yeah. and pepper. Now, is Branzino the best fish to sort of grill whole? I think so, but if you don't, if you go to your fishmonger or Whole Foods or whatever and there isn't Branzino, any whole roasted bit or any whole fish will work. Okay. You just want to look for one who has a really clear eye, like if the eye looks a little foggy, yeah. step away. What does that mean? It what means it needs contact. It's been sitting there for a little too long. <laughs> it means it has cataracts yeah. and may need some LASIK, yeah. that's not the fish you no, want. No, okay. leave it alone, yeah. leave it All right. alone. Okay. Like, look, Good this know. fish looks perfect clear. and the eye yeah. is very clear. Okay. okay, so we're gonna stuff this with some extra fennel. All right. I'll do this. Just, and so, like, when you bring it home from the fishmonger, it's cleaned, it's scaled. So that's the most important thing. You want to tell your fishmonger, just do yeah. do all the messy stuff. Like, I went to culinary <laughs> school. I was a private chef. I don't want to do this. Like, okay. it's just not, your kitchen gets, their scale. No, just have okay. someone no else do it. No, do it take you. a shortcut from the store any day. I mean, isn't that the, kind of their job? Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? That's what yeah. they love to do. They tell you what's fresh. Okay, so there's yeah. fennel going in there. Oranges, interesting. Oranges and lemons. And mm. you want to throw some fennel fronds in there as well. Can you ask oh, the them fronds. to take the head off? You could. <laughs> okay. For sure could. <laughs> but you, yeah. you yeah. could, but it, would be be a, okay. but it would be a different dish. <laughs> Right. The recipe would be the same, but the whole the whole idea oh. of it is like when you go to a restaurant, they yeah, bring like, you the fish okay. like that. Because yeah. then it makes you look fancy to your friends. Like when yeah. you're in Greece and right. Mykonos in the and summer, they do, they do like it's a 20-pound, so like, Which whatever. one of my fishes would you yeah. like? Yeah. And you're like, oh. It's everything. Right. It's and pretty cool. we're going to put some parsley in there. And it's really beautiful, too. Mm. It's gorgeous, and it's very Instagram-friendly, which is really what life is about. <laughs> right. right. It's right. all about. So we'll take yeah. a picture of him before we eat. Obviously. And then we're going to season this part with some salt and pepper. And will you put some lemon on top as well? Wow. Yes. Always oh, see, for the photo. That's so beautiful. Always, right? And even more olive oil. Yeah, we'll drizzle this with a little bit of okay. olive oil and then it just goes right into the oven. It mm. bakes for like 15 to 20 minutes. It doesn't take very long at all. And this is a smaller branzino, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I would serve one of these per person. Okay. Oh, yeah, with wow. like maybe a salad oh, on the yeah, side. I, I also minutes. really like to eat. Yeah. And I work out a lot, so like it's okay. <laughs> yeah. She right? wants to preface <laughs> that, Sean. Let yeah. you know that she is Don't judge me. Yeah, it's nope. good for us. So then this just goes into the oven. Oh, look at that. Now, we would have... you eat it with the skin and everything? I mean, okay, I'll show you. Give me 10 okay. seconds. So you're going to pull it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh. If I had, do we have a fork anywhere? Here you go. Right yeah, on. great. So at the restaurant or where if you were having this at home, you kind of could just open it up and then. And eat the inside yeah. just like that. Or you can take it out of the skin just, just like, this. like this. But we're going to close this back up for a hot second and top it with some fennel slaw mm. sure. with our How fennel salad. That looks. Right? And then you just want to juice some of those lemons on top. Oh my gosh. And we can call it a day. Let's on top of this guy? Yeah, all over. Lemon juice is like the key to good fish, always. You need a little acid in there. 
Did you guys nice. coordinate outfits? No, no but we I do this work we do this every time. Every single time. Next time. Every single time, every time, time we dress alike. Isn't that strange? Oh my god. Next time let's go with a floral motif. Yeah, I will. I'm in. I'm in. Now besides looking at the eyes of the fish to make sure it's the fish is healthy, is there anything else you would um, any other tips when buying fish? I like to look for something that's a little colorful. So if there isn't a brand Zeno, you know, I don't even know what it's called, but there's one fish that's a little bit more red and it's so beautiful. I buy, I buy things for color. Okay. It's the same way Instagram. I like. Yeah, it's like anything colorful goes. And make sure it smells like the sea. Yeah, when you, you also have your own line of seasoning, right? I do. Yes. Spices. Yeah. yeah, I came Did out you with... bring some? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh.